There. That's it. That's him. Okay. Let me give you, I'm back, you know, Mr. Warren's here to give you a video, as always, you know. Some of you like the hat I'm wearing, some of you don't. Then hold on, let me fashion it down. Some of you like the glasses, some of you don't. I do me, irregardless. If you don't like what I'm doing or what I'm saying, hit the X button up there and move stage left. But let's get right with this program. As always, I'm in the building. I'm going to give you a video. I'm going to give you like thoughts and opinions that I want you guys to think about and talk with your friends or family. So let me get into this one. I'm going to talk about how Detroit ain't really cracking, but Moscow is. Now, let me talk about this. I'm talking about Russia's auto industry has, you know, shifted into high gear. The government incentives are encouraging like foreign, like, producers like GM don't get it fucked up GM's over there GM say they're making money it ain't making money because of you you're too busy buying the fucking Accord but uh, they're giving a lot of these companies incentives as long as they can like benchmarks and all that to produce more models in Russia and like really how to go to Russia too because Russia like Brazil and China all these up-and-coming countries that's where the bucks are going to come from as far as for GM here we're in America you got people that got bucks. You got people trying to hold on to their bucks. Some of us are spending our bucks, but they're going to Russia. Fuck that. You know, during the Soviet days, private ownership, you know, you couldn't, if one of them was the USSR, you couldn't, Nikita Khrushchev, Stalin, you know, Gorbachev, well, Gorbachev said in the beginning, but uh, under the USSR, under like true strict communism, it was like it was frowned upon to own a, like private private ownership was frowned upon let's put it like that now now that there's an economic boom in Russia and more and more like there's high oil prices from Russia which they're selling to other countries which are getting a greater reserves and revenue a lot of people are coming in some money so they want a car you know ironically because around like in like ironically Russia is like the second largest oil exporter, not importer, exporter. You know, the Russian average income has multiplied, you know, by like 16 in the last decade. Imagine if your, your paycheck multiplied by 16. I mean, granted, they were only making like two cents an hour, but still, you get my draft. You know, at the end of the day, though, I think the Russians are starting to see that a little bit of democracy isn't hurting. And we, you know, and then there's a way where we all can make some money, baby. It's Glasnost. You gotta love it. Peace. There. That's it. That's him.